your team is working on securing AI systems and securing corporate use of AI. Tell us a little bit more on how, how are you securing AI? Yeah. Look, AI is the fastest growing technology in the history of mankind. Seen the last two years, the adoption of Gen AI specifically, uh, it's just mind blowing. When you think of AI, we think of two broad use cases of AI. One is employees. We're in the office right now, we're accessing AI powered applications, right? And we have seen uh, reports which say that, you know, more than 60% of employees in organization are already accessing these AI powered applications, right? From a variety of different use cases. Everybody wants to get better, they want to be smarter, they want to get their job done more efficiently. So they're looking at all of these aspects of how do I use these AI powered applications? Whether I'm a marketing person writing a blog or a press release or a salesperson writing emails or I'm a developer trying to understand this complicated piece of code, I'm using these AI powered applications to be more efficient. What's happening is that in many cases, it's happening without IT being aware of it. So now you have the shadow AI problem, right? IT lacks visibility into what are the AI powered applications that my employees are using. Then they have no control. Like they would like to allow, deny, or limit usage of applications. Because at the end of the day, they are trying to protect their crown juice, their data. You don't want to have proprietary data leak in outside the organization. And also many of these AI part applications uh, give you responses. These responses can have phishing links, malware, etc. So that is what I call as AI access. Or how do you ensure that employees can continue to use these AI part applications without, to get more efficient, to be more productive, but not compromise? Ideas need to compare on security. The second thing that we are seeing is around organizations building AI applications. When you build an AI application, it's not just taking an existing application, putting a model. You're bringing in a lot of different components, AI infrastructure, data sets, tool sets, plugins, all of these talk to each other, but they also talk to the outside world. And they also trained on your sensitive, your confidential data. So how do you ensure that you have complete management by design perspective? That you don't have any configuration and supply chain risks, but also when you deploy these AI applications, you do have new threats. That's like prompt injection, where I can uh, make the model behave outside its guardrails, or model DOS attacks, data leakage attacks. So all of the traditional threats that we saw with traditional applications and these new AI specific threats. So that is where we have AI runtime security and AI security posture management, where we figure out what are the supply chain and configuration risks, and then when you are having this in uh, running in deployment, how do you discover your assets? How do you secure them from real time? And how do I give you visibility and monitoring on an ongoing basis? That's really what we say, securing AI by design.